Ruben, me, Penny, and Aiden, and Lucy. And today our mom is going to be showing you guys how to sew the Bulldog Dolman. If you guys would like to purchase this pattern, you can go to the website raincitypatterncompany.com. Now let's get sewing. All right, so let's get started. Our required pieces are gonna be our front top and a front bottom, a back top and a back bottom, and I'm doing the long sleeve version, so I have two long sleeves, and because I'm doing long sleeves, I have two wrist cuffs, and then I'm doing the wide neck, so I have my wide neck band right there. The next step is to sew our front top to our front bottom. So we're just opening this up and opening this one up. And make sure that your curved hem is at the bottom. Uh, so once you have them laid out like this, this is the straight edge curved hem. Just go ahead and flip it over and line them up right here. And then sew from here to here using either a stretch stitch or your serger. So now we're gonna repeat that on the back. So I have my back top and my back bottom. I'm just gonna open these up. And my curved hem is right here and it's facing away. I'm gonna flip this over so it's right sides together. Line up here and then sew using a stretch stitch or a serger quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so now that your top is sewn to the bottom, go and press the seam up that way, and then press your hem up one inch. If you're doing the short sleeve option, press your sleeve hem up also one inch, but don't sew that yet. Next, we're gonna lay our back and our right sides together. So this is my back. And this is my front. I'm gonna lay them right sides together. I'm gonna to make sure that the uh, shoulder seams right here are lined up. And I'm gonna make sure um, that if I were to do the short sleeves that this hem is not folded any longer. So for the short sleeve option, you would just sew the shoulder seam here and here. And then with the hems unfolded, you would sew the side seam all the way down that way and then over here and you're going to want to use a stretch stitch. For the long sleeve version we're just going to sew the shoulder seam here and here using a stretch stitch and then we're going to open it up and we're going to sew our long sleeves on. Okay so I have my shoulder seam sewn and I have pressed my shoulder seam towards the back of the shirt and now I'm just going to open this up like so and I'm gonna take one of my sleeves, fold it in half. This would be my center line right there. And that's gonna go right where this seam is. So right like that. And we're putting it right sides together. And we're gonna use a stretch stitch, making sure that that seam is still pressed towards the back and we're gonna sew from here to here. Okay, so my long sleeves are sewn on. Now I can do my side seams. So we're just gonna fold this so that the front and the back are together. You gotta be careful that you don't fold it so that the sleeves are together because you'll sew it wrong. So we're just gonna turn it like this. And there we have it. So sleeves lined up and we're gonna sew from the end to the end so starting over here all the way down using a stretch stitch or a serge and then we're gonna repeat on the other side okay so our side seams are sewn, and now we're gonna work on our wristbands and our cuffs. So, 
here is, excuse me, my wrist cuffs and my neckband. So here is my neckband and I have it folded in half already, lining up my short sides as well as my wrist cuffs. And so from here, we're just gonna give it one more fold before we sew. So we're gonna fold it up like this and we're gonna sew right here. We're going to do the same for all of them. And this is just going to make it so that that seam isn't quite as bulky. So they're all turned up and now I'm going to sew here, here, here. And you can use a straight stitch for this step. Okay, so they're sewn at that end right there. And now we're going to turn them right side out. And once we get them right side out, we'll give them a good press. So there we go. And now to press them. Okay, so my cuffs are pressed and my neckband's pressed. And now we're going to sew the neckband to the shirt. And this method goes for the um, high neck option. So anyway, so we have our... Um, neckband folded in half. This is my seam and I'm just going to mark 180 degrees out from that seam. So this is going to be the part that lines up to the front of my neckband and this is going to um, front of my shirt and back of my shirt. So we're going to take our shirt and turn it right side out. And we're gonna find the center front and center back. So my front is my lower neckline. So here's my front, marking it with the yellow pin. And my back will mark with this red pin. Now that we have those marked, we just open this up. And we're going to line up yellow pin to yellow pin like that. I like to use a clip because it holds it a little tighter. And then we're going to do the same for the back. So here's my seam and I'm going to place my shirt over it just like that. Remove the pin and put that there. Now I have it marked in the center front and center back and I'm just going to gently stretch from clip to clip around. So there's no need to have a second mark because the distance between here and here is the same. So as long as you're evenly stretching your neckband, it will fit just fine. All right, so the neckband is sewn on. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna sew on our wrist cuffs if you are doing the short sleeve option, you can go ahead and hem your short sleeves. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our sleeve cuff and we're gonna insert our sleeve into the sleeve cuff. So this is my raw edge right here. Okay, and that's my folded edge. And I'm gonna take it and line my seam up here with the seam up here. So, just like this, I'm gonna get a clip. I'm gonna clip it in place. And with the wrist cuff, I'm just gonna make sure that when I sew it in the round that I gently stretch the cuff to fit. So, I don't really feel the need 
to mark it in two spots because it's so small. So I will sew it on using a stretch stitch or the serger. I'll use the serger, but you can use a stretch stitch. All right, so here's my cuff sewn on. I'm just gonna turn it right side out like that. And then I'm gonna repeat on my other cuff. So I have my folded edge facing that way. My raw edge is facing that way. And I'm just gonna insert that sleeve into the cuff, right sides together. Lining up those seams. I like to press one seam that way and the other seam that way so it's less bulky. And then I just stretch it to fit and I sew it. So the last steps are to hem our shirt and seeing how we've already pressed that seam up, it should be, not seam, but press the hemline up, it should be fairly easy. And when I sew the curved part, I just kind of gently stretch it as I go around so that it's not all, um, the fabric doesn't get all um, pressed over on itself. So, um, so do the hem and then you can also top stitch the neckline. If you have long sleeves, you can top stitch that seam right there and uh, the seam from the top to the bottom pieces. All right, so now that the hem is done, folded up one inch and top stitch, I went ahead and I top stitched my neck because I like the way that looks. And because I'm lazy, I'm not going to top stitch these seams here. But if I were to, it would look really cool. You could do a decorative stitch right there, as long as it's a stretch stitch. Um, or just leave it plain like this because it still looks cool. 